Hello, my name is Richard Chung. I'm a product manager with Eden for the Smart Wire DT product line. To understand the benefits of Smart Wire DT and what we call our lean connectivity solution, let's first look at a conventionally wired control panel. Here we have basically a composite control panel that's been built with a lot of push buttons and pallet light devices on the door. Inside we have motor starters, manual motor protectors, all wired up to a conventional PLC with I.O. modules. And as you can see, there are lots of wires throughout the, the cabinet, inside the wireways. The time it takes to measure, cut the length, strip the wire, add ferrules, add wire markers, dress the wires in the trays, add the wire ties and bundle the wires uh, means that it takes us a long time to put together a panel like this. And that's the takeaway. It takes a long time to do some assembly. And uh, we still have some problematic areas. One, we can have loose terminations. We can have some miswired terminations. And sometimes we can have intermittent issues. As an example, on this particular control panel, I was demonstrating this and I noticed that this light was flickering. And what we later learned was that the connection to this light was actually, the wire was actually wired to the wrong side of the saddle clamp on push button contact lock. And it led, but it was held in place very tightly because of the, the, the wire bundling holding it in place. That sort of intermittent issue can be uh, very time consuming to troubleshoot and identify. Next, I'd like to show you what our lean connectivity solution looks like with Smart Wire DT. Take a look at this panel. The first thing you'll notice is that there's a big space where the uh, conventional PLC was located, and I'll explain, explain that uh, in a minute. Uh, Smart Wire DT works with any third-party PLC through the use of what we call a gateway. So for example, I could still have the same PLC CPU that you saw on this panel located here. I would have an additional gateway solution here, and that would be wired to my uh, flat green cable. In this instance, what I've done here is actually included the, the PLC functionality inside my HMI PLC. So all the logic is being run from this particular unit. It's a combination PLC and HMI in one. In addition, the actual gateway to the SmartWire DT system is actually built in. So the flat cable can plug directly into the back of the HMI PLC. So what you'll notice here is the flat cable just simply connects all my devices uh, serially uh, in one line. All my push button devices back to my contactor devices on this one flat cable. You'll notice that there are some indicating lights that you see on each device. Uh, that's telling me the status of the actual module on SmartWire DT. So to use SmartWire DT, it's very easy. First, you connect all your devices, you power it up, and what we have is what we call an auto configuration button. You press that button, and SmartWire DT goes out and learns the network. It goes out, finds, and identifies each and every node that it's connected to, and maps it and gives it gives it a node address automatically. So it's, the nice thing about that is it's easy to use. You don't have to set any uh, separate uh, address modules with dip switches or any other way. It does so uh, automatically. <clears throat> Once it does that, you would uh, uh, map that information if you were using a gateway back to your PLC program and or the, the program that you have in the HMI PLC. Now, as you can see, what SmartWire DT does is really essentially standardizes the connections that it makes to all your components. We're using the same connector, whether it's uh, attached to the contactor module or, or a push button module. The other thing to notice is that we're using still standard control components. The motor contactors that you see here and the pallet light devices that you see on the door are all standard components. What's different is the module that sits on top of the contactor and the module that plugs into the back of the push button unit. Inside those modules we have a smart chip and that allows us to essentially make these components smart enough to talk directly to the HMI PLC. Essentially that gives us basically a, a dis distributed I.O. point down to, each in, uh, down to each component device. With SmartWire DT I can do a number of things and one of those things is actually to get some uh, diagnostic information over the network. 
So if you'll notice, I have two types of manual motion protector units inside this cabinet. One is our standard electromechanical manual motion protector unit. And on the left-hand side here, you'll see an electronic manual motion protector unit with an interchangeable trip unit. With SmartWire DT, what I can do is actually tap into the electronics on that unit. And with that, I'm able to actually monitor the motor current uh, that's coming out of this, uh, connection, this motor connection. I can also monitor the status of the, of the MMP and its trip condition. If you wanted to compare that with a conventionally wired device, if you wanted to at, look at the motor load of a standard device, typically you would have to add some sort of current sensor and then wire it back to some analog inputs on the PLC. So this solution can save you time and expense in, in, in doing that current monitoring. One of the other benefits of using SmartWire DT is the enhanced diagnostics that you uh, can get over the system. For example, uh, if something were disconnected or turned off, I can monitor that information over the network and show it on my touch screen. So for example, I've set up an alarm page here that tells me exactly where those trouble areas are. I can then go in and make those corrections by reconnecting the devices, uh, resetting my tripped manual motor protector units, and as the uh, faults are fixed, the errors will go away. I would reset the device and then I could restart my system. One of the things that you'll notice with the SmartWire DT panel is this extra space that we have on top of this cabinet where the previous the conventional PLC was located with the conventional I.O. modules. We have basically eliminated the I.O. modules from the PLC because we have the I.O. point connections on each and every device. Uh, and that, that's what we do with a SmartWire DT chip that's inside the smart module that sits on top of the contactor or attaches to the back of the push button device. For other components, such as the stack light, for example, uh, it does not have uh, a smart YDT module. Uh, you can use a con one of eight different uh, I.O. module cards on smart YDT to connect to different devices. We have a variety of digital and analog I.O. modules to allow you to connect just about anything to smart YDT as well. Some of the new products that we have coming out with smart YDT are our new stack lights, the SL7, 70 millimeter stack light as well as the SL4 40 millimeter stack light. As you can see, it has a base where you simply will be able to click in the smart YDT cable. Also, we have the larger frame 65 amp XDPE manual motor protector units. And this module clips in right here at the base of the MMP. We also have a full line of the DS7 soft starters that have SmartWire DT integrated into them, all the way up to 150 horsepower. And finally, coming soon are the DC1 variable frequency drives, up to 15 horsepower at 480 volts. Here there will be a module that clicks to the front of the drive and that will accept the SmartWire DT connection. With SmartWire DT, you also get a number of other benefits. Not only does it reduce the time it takes to build and wire a control panel, but we also help to eliminate the complexity of the schematic. So for example, the schematic diagram required for a conventionally wired panel like this one on my right um, requires point-to-point -point connections and the wireman will actually have to follow each and every connection point and typically they yellow line the, the diagram to verify that they've actually laid the wire. With SmartWire DT, we essentially are eliminating the wiring and basically connecting to each and every device and eliminating the complexity of a, of, of a schematic diagram. In more complicated schemes, we can actually save some engineering time uh, because in instances like that, the engineer will actually determine 
The connection points from the I.O. modules to the devices create some sort of cross-reference list for the wireman to follow. Basically, all of that can be eliminated now by standardizing the connections to the smart wire DT network. And finally, apart from what you'll notice is two less wires means basically less time it takes to actually test and verify the connections in the panel. And also what that means on site is that it takes less time to commission and troubleshoot the panel when you're doing your final installation. Thank you for watching. To find out more about SmartWire DT, please visit our website at www.eaton.com forward slash SmartWire DT, all one word. Thank you.